Today, I'm going to be talking about a new tri-band. Okay, it's not really new. It's new to me. I haven't reviewed it before. So it's a new tri-band. And it's a tri-band. So I'm all about the tri-bands. I'm all about adding 220 to the mix on most days. Let's check it out today on Ham Radio 2.0. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Jason, KC5HWB, and this is Ham Radio 2.0, where on this channel we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio. So if that's something that uh, should interest you, consider subscribing below and hitting the like button, which tells YouTube that people are watching this video. All right, so today we're going to look at the Bale Fang so for those of you out there who come along and comment, the correct pronunciation is Baofeng. That's my best, that's the best Chinese you're going to get out of me. Baofeng. Okay. In the United States, they're called Baofeng or Bofeng or Pofeng or just Chinese HT maybe. <laughs> so as far as the Baofeng radios go, the UV82 has long since been one of my favorites. It's, it's, um, it's got a little bit better receiver than the UV5R. It's got a much better antenna than the, the UV5R antenna is junk. And uh, it's a little bit easier. It's, it's, it's more durable. It's got a bigger battery. It's a little bit easier to program. I'm going to switch over to this view here real quick and uh, let you guys see just kind of what it looks like. This is not um, different than the UV82 radios that I have reviewed before on this channel. Uh, but it's been a while. It's been a while. I didn't have nearly as many subscribers uh, on my channel back then as I do today. So, first and foremost, the battery, the uh, belt clip attaches to the radio itself, not the battery, which is always a good thing in my opinion. So you can take the battery off. Oops. Take the battery off, and the belt clip is on the radio, and the battery is a 2800 milliamp hour battery. You can kind of see it in the camera right there put that back on here here's your fcc certification fcc ce stamp for that uh this is a five watt model so and there's what it looks like again you can change the background colors to be different on receive different on transmit different on standby um, that's all done in the menu. This is a very standard um, Chinese radio menu. Uh, as I said in one of my last videos, I think it was the Redivis video. Let me zoom in here. People say, oh, that's a Baofeng menu. Actually, it's not. It's not a Baofeng menu. It is a Chinese radio menu that is used by a lot of different manufacturers. And the first menu I ever saw, the first time I ever saw this menu was on a Wuxun Oshang UVD1P which was actually the first Chinese radio I ever bought. That was before Baofengs were really, had kind of taken off. Uh, Ocheng was in the market scene before Baofeng was, at least in the amateur radio scene in the USA. And it wasn't short until, it was a short time after that, that you started seeing a lot of UV5Rs out. But, um, but Ocheng had this menu before Baofeng did. But people call it a Baofeng menu, and okay, okay. You want to call it a Baofeng menu, go ahead. But it's a Chinese radio menu. So this can go in here, you know, we're, we're going to, just like that. It's got all your standard stuff in here. There's 40 menus, reset all. This R tone that's set to 1,000 hertz, you can't... I'm not sure exactly what that does. Um, I could read on it. I could read in the package. I don't... Uh, feel like doing that right now <laughs> but anyway so it is a tri-band but it's dual band display so you can see 223.500 at the bottom for 40 at the top i could go One, four, six, five, two, zero. i could go to two meters on the top i could go to 440 on the bottom i could I could go to 220 on both bands. You could go to two meters on both bands. You can go to, you can go to 440 on both bands. You can do it however you want to. So, 
that is that it does have the dual ptt which is really cool this ptd button will key the top band here this ptt button will key the bottom band here so you don't have to switch you, you've got an active band and you can see that there's activity on 223.500 it's probably just a birdie because these radios are eh you know they're okay so let's switch from that i'll go up there there we go now we don't have chirping so we've got that so dual ptt these are uh function buttons here that can be there's an f let me make sure that's in the camera correct yeah there we go there's an f button there and an m button there oh that's the flashlight the m button controls the flashlight you can get solid light flashing light turn off f goes to your fm radio turn on FM radio for, for receive. Uh, it takes the standard uh, two-prong connector on the side here. Just like that. I'm going to zoom back out a touch. There we go. Standard two-prong Kenwood connector there. What used to be a Kenwood is really more of a Chinese radio connect connector now. And then the full DTMF pad. One button on the top to control vol volume. Here's something. This is a package that I bought on, uh, on eBay. I bought this uh, UV82, and I'll put, a, uh, I'll put a link to the description below. I'll put a link in the description below to the package that I got this from. It didn't come with a box, so I can't do an unboxing. And it said that in the auction. It said that, and it said, hey, we're going to ship it from China. It's not going to come with a box, so it came all, like, wrapped up in bubble wrap. But it came with the radio and a second antenna. came with an earpiece, okay? I do have a manual right here and it came with a desktop charger and that was about it now here's the thing i don't like much like the uv9s i reviewed a while back this comes with two antennas so this red tipped antenna right here is for two meters and 220 you can see it hopefully you can see it it says it goes from uh, uh 145 145 to 230. FM 145 to 230 to 245. I don't... Or, I'm sorry. 145 to 230 and then 245 to 260. So the 145 to 230 covers not even all of the... I mean, it doesn't cover like 144. Okay, and then you got the second antenna here. That's your standard dual band. Let's see if that'll focus. This is uh, 136 to 174 and 400 to 520. Okay, so you basically got a two meter. A um, let me switch that view again. You've basically got a dual band antenna right here, and you've got a dual band antenna here that'll cover 220 and most of two meters so once again stupid i mean let's just let's just let's just call a spade a spade shall we stupid tri-band radio two antennas neither one of them cover the entire three bands of the radio stupid okay i just that's just i, I don't like that i don't like that the tyt what i do with it right here the tyt th350 has this longer antenna here that covers all three bands so throw these stupid antennas in the trash and get on Amazon and buy a real antenna for it. The good thing about this, um, no, that's not true. Okay. I was thinking it was the, the reverse SMA, but it's not, it's got an SMA male on the body. So it takes an SMA female antenna. Um, the, the, my favorite antenna, my favorite tri-band antenna right now is the diamond. It's the uh, SR or something, something, something. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But it's, a, it's, it's got the, the SMA mail on the antenna, not the body. So it's backwards of the Baofeng radios. That's the antenna that I use in my Kenwood D74. It's fantastic. And I wish, and I, I looked a while back and I couldn't find one on the other direction of SMA. Um, maybe I'll look again. And if so, I'll put it in the, in, in the description below. If somebody has a link to that antenna. A tri-band diamond HT antenna that has SMA female on the antenna itself. Okay, that would be the antenna to put. It's going to be longer, okay, but I don't, you know, whatever. So we're going to do some power tests with this thing, which I think you will find rather disappointing.
because I've already done it, so I know what it's going to do. Uh, let's see. Let's switch over here. There's that. Um, I'm going to switch my camera. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so right there. Now, what I've got is I've got the radio, which you can't see that. I can't really show you the radio at the same time. So this is, you know what, I'll, I'll, um, you should be able to hear this. Two, two, three, five, zero, zero. Okay, so you just heard that. Two, two, three, five, zero, zero. I'm on simplex, 220, and I'm on high power. And it's going to give me about six watts there, which I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm, I, I would be happy with a tri-band HT that runs five or six watts per band, especially on the 220 band, which is the, the afterthought band, okay? Because you can get UV82s all day long in two meters and 440. But 220 is the additional band in this radio. So now we're going to go... One, four, six, five, two, zero. Okay. Hopefully you heard that. One, four, six, five, two, zero. Right there, you're seeing about seven watts. No, almost 8 watts. Almost 8 watts right there. So that's good. Okay, now. Ah. Four, 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 zero, zero, zero. We're going to do 444000. Zero, zero, zero. And I'm going to show you how disappointed I am. It's running 1 watt on high power. Another thing about this, this is not the HP model, um, which I'm on the lookout for. I, I couldn't find it when I looked earlier, but I couldn't find an HP model in tri-band okay so the hp model is supposed to be an eight watt radio and the way you can tell if you have an hp model or not i had someone ask me this one time the hp model the eight watt radio of the uv82 and this might be true on other models as well has three power settings it has mid high, uh, low mid and high the five watt models have low and high this model right here has a low power and a high power and i'm on high power right now on 444.0 and it's only pushing one watt let's go to 441 maybe one and a half watts so i'm pretty disappointed with the 44 the 70 centimeter uhf output on this radio uh, maybe you don't care about that okay and you know just again I, I i'm not telling you to go out and buy this radio i'm not telling you to not go out and buy the radio i'm just saying that you know it the performance on two meters and 220 looks like it's as expected Okay, but the performance on 440 KC5 HWB testing is subpar, to say the least. Because I don't, I mean, one watt on high power on 440. Uh, you could, you, you can find, you can find a better, you can find a better tri-band radio than this, quite frankly. It's, um, let's go up here. No. And, um... Okay, now. That's my all-star node. So, I can, uh, I can use it on my all-star node, which is right there. <laughs> it's like a foot and a half from me on a dummy load. I mean, you know, so come on. But I can use it on my all-star node. I've got two or three of these in my travel trailer that I keep at the deer lease that I use in the field when I am go deer hunting. And if they get wet, if they get dropped, if they get run over by a truck, if I lose them, who cares? That's what, that's what they're for. I don't want to take my D74, or my $500 D74, or my $330 FT3D into the field and take a chance on it getting beat up, lost, broken, whatever. Um... I take those radios to the deer lease and I use them when I'm at camp. But when I'm packing up all my stuff to walk out to the hunting stand, this is usually the radio, usually the radio that I have with me. Because, again, if I lose it, I, uh, not, the, this, not this one, but the, the, the dual band version. Um, I'd be interested to see if the, we got a really good 220 repeater out there uh, around the deer lease. So I'd be really interested to see if this thing does any good um, when I get back out there on that 220 repeater. But, um, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed 
because I really liked, again, as far as Bailfang radios go, I mean, it's not the greatest radio in the world. Um, I was kind of disappointed. I was, I was hoping for better performance out of the UV82 model of radio. Um, this guy that sold this to me on eBay, being that he's, you know, selling, it, it came from China, and it came without a box. Um, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, and the, the, the ring, the, uh, every time I take the antenna out, this little protector ring comes out of it. So, which, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, it goes down about the same, same distance there. Good. So, anyway, that is that. Um, that is the UV AV, UV82. I think it's... Some places I've seen it listed as UV82 ti by 3 or just UV82 tri-band, whatever. Uh, again, I was... I might try to pick up another one from another source and see if it outperforms it. Quality control at Baofeng in China is not always 100%. So just because you get one radio that's subpar doesn't mean they're all like that, okay? Um, it is what it is. Uh, as far as if I was just going to use this on 220, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it would work well on 220. It works well on 2 meters. It's pushing out about 7 watts on 2 meters on 146.52, okay? And it's pu pushing out 6 watts on 220, but, uh, but the, um, yeah, the 440 side of it's disappointing. So it depends on what you want to use it for. Um, my suggestion would be, find, uh, you could find a better tri-band radio than this one. And I'm actually working on a video. I wanted to do this video first. I wanted, I'm working on a video about your best tri-band HT, 2 meters, 220, 440. So if you have a suggestion for a tri-band HT, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you've used this radio. Let me know what you think about it, if you have. And if you have a better tri-band HT that you would have not seen reviewed on this channel, especially put that below as well. 73 guys, everyone have a good afternoon.